Thank you, thank you, thank you. Art here, and welcome back to Central Talks. Today, we're reporting to you from Hollywood. That's right, Tinseltown, USA. Sidebar about the sign. It was constructed in 1923 and originally read Hollywood Land and was constructed as a temporary billboard for a local real estate development. It wasn't until 1949 that the city of Los Angeles decided to make the sign permanent, but only after dropping the land part. And now it's an icon recognized around the world. Now, back to stem cells. As our regular viewers know, in the past, we've been reporting on the plasticity that is the ability to differentiate into a multitude of tissue types inherent in dental pulp stem cells, DPSCs. And due to that inherent plasticity, we have been predicting that DPSCs will find a broad range of therapeutic uses. Our recent videos are testament to this prognosis, as we have reported on clinical trials involving DPSCs to treat both type 1 and type 2 diabetes, mend cleft palate, treat osteoarthritis, repair stroke-induced brain damage, and address periodontitis. And today, we're reporting on clinical trials utilizing DPSCs to treat depression. That's right, depression, a condition that affects 280 million people worldwide. Now, at this point, many of you may be asking yourself, how can stem cells treat depression? And stem cells from teeth? <laughs> Mind blown. Bet you can't wait to learn how this works. Well, the idea is not as strange as it might first appear. Researchers have been aware of the presence of stem cells in the hippocampus, the area of the brain which plays an integral role in learning, memory, information processing, and mood regulation. The stem cells are believed to play a role in reducing depression due to their regenerative abilities, creating additional neurons that can form new connections within the brain. Neuroregenerative research indicated that active stem cells mitigated depression and anxiety in both animal and human models. Hence, the researchers theorized that the introduction of neural stem cells would prove to be an effective treatment for depression. But stem cells from teeth? Again, not so strange. You see, DPSCs are derived from the neural crest during embryonic development and have a natural predisposition to differentiate into neural tissue making them ideal candidates for neural treatment options. Remember, they're being used to repair brain damage in stroke victims. In addition, DPSCs possess anti-inflammatory properties, which aid in the regulation of inflammatory activity associated with depression. The trial will include 48 participants diagnosed with depression who will be randomized into an experimental group and a control group. The experimental group will receive four DPSC injections two weeks apart and daily doses of the antidepressant floxetine hydrochloride. The control group will receive four placebo injections two weeks apart and daily doses of the same antidepressant. Decreases in the total scores on the Montgomery Asperger depression scale between the experimental group and the control group will be evaluated to determine the efficacy of the treatment. Needless to say, we will continue to update you on the status of this trial and others involving DPSCs. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like us and to subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.